deep, dark brown eyes that hide behind the rounded folds of his cheeks when he smiles? Who got those from me? <laughs> dark, tightly curly hair designed by God to grow from his scalp and protect his brain from the intense African sun. He reminds me of my pop. Pop was once a black boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, my, my last day at the Blue Bar, oh, yeah. I was nine, maybe, maybe 10 years old. Now, Rudy, he was about a year younger than me. You, Rudy used to follow me around everywhere I went. Rudy Johnson, played running back for the 49ers. Real big shot. But back then, he was following me around. <laughs> Every day after school, I'd run home and get this raggedy little wooden box I called a shoe shine kit. I had a finger painted 10 cents on either side and shot over shoe polish. Yeah, we was at the blue bar making that good money. Now, I learned you just had to be at the right place, at the right time, and willing to hustle. When me and Rudy was there. We went to the blue bar a couple other places. So Rudy would come behind me, you know, trying to make a little extra change on the shoes I couldn't get to. And it's one day, the owner, Older white guy, I forget his name. I'm, I'm shining his shoe. He reached down and rubbed my head for good luck. That's something they did back then, you know, rubbing niggas' head for luck. I don't know why they did it, they just did it. Dark, tightly curly hair designed by God to grow from his scalp and protect his precious brain from the intense African sun. I jerked my head away, he smacked the back of my head. I, I let people rub my head for luck before, but this was different. I don't know why this was. I picked up my shoe shine kit and I went across that street. Now he didn't hit me that hard, but something happened. Something rolls up inside. I can't explain it. I picked up a can of Shinola, threw it right at him. I think it landed at his feet. I don't know, I was too busy running as fast as I could. <laughs> Lay low for a couple of days. That was my last day at the Blue Bar. Now, Rudy Johnson had a new place to shine, making that good money. <laughs> good money. That man invented the honest hustle, worked for everything he ever got, never wasted a dime. His mother was a cleaning woman, and his father did different jobs here and there. Word on the street is that my grandpa snuck, um, drank, partied, and gambled away most of his pay. And on more than one occasion, my grandmother was known to take a cast iron pot to his head for coming home late with empty pockets, smelling of liquor and strange women. Mm. We called her Ma. Everybody called her Ma. I guess that's the best name we could think of for somebody who raised her kids, some of the neighborhood's kids, some of their kids' kids. Truth be told, some of their kids' kids' kids. Ma was tough. She believed in tireless, hard work, what Pop calls hustle. Now, Ma was a maid over at the Parks home for about 20 years. Now, I remember if I ever wanted to visit her, I had to go around to the back door. And at school, them Parks kids always treated me different. Now, see, black kids, we was raised not to trust white folks. But it looked to me like most white kids was raised to hate black folks. Them Parks kids acted like we didn't have nothing in common. But I could see. The same sharp creases they had in their jeans was the same sharp creases I had in mine. Because couldn't nobody starch and press like mud. <laughs> so Pop, the only boy in a family of five sisters, learned early in life to, to work and to earn. And I guess he never stopped. I always missed him as a kid. You know, I, Pop was there, and my brothers and I, we, we knew he cared, but I mean, he would work. 12, 13, 14 hour shifts like a champ. He taught high school biology and science, driver's ed, and any other class he could pick up. Then he, he coached football and still found time to deliver television sets. He even worked as a night clerk at a convenience store until he earned enough money to buy his own convenience store. Ha <laughs> ha, Kelly's Mini Market. <laughs> I never wanted you boys to go through what I went through. It's tough coming up the way I did. Hmm? I never got to spend time with my dad the way I spent time with y'all. Proud of it. When I was little, he would call me daddy's pumpkin pie. <laughs> or, or sometimes if you wanted me to, to run an errand, he called me, boy wonder, come here boy wonder. 
Go get you that, that uh, remote control. Hey, and bring that boy brush. Come scratch my back. Oh. <laughs> I chihuahua. Pokemon Ray. No mas, no mas. <laughs> that was all the Spanish he spoke. You meant I was doing a good job. <laughs>